A very good o'clock, dear students. Here I am Nikita. I am your geography teacher. Students, today we are going to start our last chapter of the syllabus, that is 15, waste management. Okay, in this chapter we are going to study about what is waste, what are the types of waste, what are the methods of disposal of waste, what are the impacts of waste disposal on the environment, how it's a threat to the environment, to emerging in emerging conditions, and uh, what are the safest methods of uh, waste disposal, and what is uh, the uh, what is the concept of three R? Okay, so what is waste? It's defined as any matter, whether solid, liquid, gaseous, or radioactive, emitted or deposited in the environment, which cause an alteration of the environment. It means any matter. It's whether it's solid, it's liquid, it's gas, gaseous, or it's radioactive material. If, if it's emitted or it's deposited or it. Um, uh, discarded into the environment it can cause an alteration of the environment which means it can change the natural the natural condition of the environment and this is known as the pollution only okay right and uh, this kind of material which is polluting the environment is known as waste okay generally waste is any material or substance that is of no further use okay no further use and has been discarded okay what happens when uh, something is not uh, or not of use to us, then we discard it, we throw it outside our home, okay, we retire it. So that is a waste. If not properly managed, waste can cause pollution and uh, adverse impacts on the environment, okay. Waste needs to be managed properly. Now we cannot do this that uh, we do not produce waste. Obviously, waste will be produced in our day-to-day -day -day activities, okay. Nature also produces some waste, but it needs to be discarded it needs to be managed properly in a way that it does not cause any pollution or any harm to the environment most of the waste is directly linked to the human development okay as the human develop it starts uh, first of all what is the need of development when old things become of no use to us then only we develop new things right so the cause of development is only the waste, okay? When uh, our things become waste, then we have to produce new things, right? So, uh, development is the main cause of directly linked to the waste production, okay? And it's both technologically and socially related to development. In modern ages, it's man who produces maximum waste, okay? Maximum waste is being produced by man in this age. And uh, in nature, there's nothing like waste, okay? Nature produces waste, right? But it can be a useful uh, product for another organism. It can be an input for another organism, okay? Like waste is becoming a major problem nowadays because it's produced more than what the nature can handle, okay? Nature has a capacity, has a natural ability to decompose the waste in a limited amount okay but we are producing a lot more waste than the nature's capacity to fix it okay an average man generates 300 to 500 kg of waste per year and that's a lot major waste producing sources are industry we had studied the pollution sources in the last chapters okay so these are agriculture household municipal and commercial medical units okay it's been observed that urban areas generate more waste than rural areas okay because there are more things to be used in the urban regions okay there is a lot of population in the urban region there are a lot of requirement there are a lot of uh, modern facilities which uh, which uh, uh, need a lot of uh, lot of fuel to run they need a lot of things to be made production for production okay so hence it produces a uh, waste also some waste are not much harmful some but some are very hazardous the waste may be solid liquid or gas solid waste generated from construction demolition that is a rock and uh, and the the waste of the buildings okay and liquid waste generated from sewage and tanneries textile other factories which uh, include the work of refining okay water waste is generated from that and uh, gaseous waste is generated from the smoke that is released from the factories and vehicles okay now let us move to the classification of waste waste can be classified into three two types biodegradable and non-biodegradable as i told you that the nature has its uh, own capacity to decompose the waste so that waste which can be decomposed the material which can be decomposed through the action of bacteria fungi and other living organisms that would be classified as the 
biodegradable waste temperature and sunlight also play an important role in the decomposition of biodegradable substances okay microorganisms like bacteria fungi decompose the waste goods as simple compound which are used as nutrient by other living organism so basically what is the process of decomposition it is the process of conversion of the complex substances that cannot be uh, that cannot be mixed with the soil into the simpler substances that can be easily mixed with the soil okay decomposition is the process of breaking down of complex substances into simple substances by the actions of microorganisms present in the soil okay and the biodegradable waste include fruit uh, and vegetable peel leaves grass wood paper cloth basically which is produced in a natural way okay not the not the artificial or man made things okay all the natural things produce the biodegradable waste okay it disappears without leaving any by product okay it completely disappears into the environment without leaving any by product okay next is non biodegradable it this waste include the material which does not break down or decompose in the soil that is opposite to the biodegradable important non biodegradable waste is made up of as i told you it's a man made good all plastic goods polythene bags synthetic clothes metal chemical radioactive waste all of them are non biodegradable since there is no natural process to decompose them they continue pile up okay means the nature cannot adapt to it nature cannot decompose it nature cannot mix it with themselves hence they keep on piling up means they keep on collecting and some of non biodegradable waste are recyclable such as plastic goods metal glass etc it's more difficult to handle the non biodegradable waste most uh, some of the biodegradable waste are recyclable okay only if they are recycled okay it means it need to be recycled okay? otherwise they would also pile up in the atmosphere so the only feasible solution to handle non biodegradable waste is recycling okay it means a reusing recycling of producing uh, another material from the waste products okay what is the difference between biodegradable and non biodegradable let us see and once these can be decomposed through the action of bacteria fungi and other living organism whereas non biodegradable cannot be decomposed biodegradable include fruit vegetable peel grass wood paper etc whereas non biodegradable contain plastic cane glass and styrofoam etc most of the biodegradable waste do not cause much harm to the environment okay because they do not leave any ha harmful product by product or they can they do not uh, emit any harmful gases and all okay and non biodegradable waste are very harmful for the environment okay now let us see what is the impact of waste accumulation so basically the impact of waste accumulation is that it, it results in toxic chemicals in the garbage we throw at various places there are toxic chemicals in the garbage that we throw and these chemical become pollutants they affect the environment most of them mix with the soil and go to the underground water okay and this water comes for drinking purpose in many homes okay which can become polluted okay the garbage also starts stinking it means bad smell foul smell is produced from the garbage it pollutes the air the area looks awful means the area is uh, totally the look of the area is totally spoiled it's not easy to pass by the pile of a garbage and this way the waste pollute the soil air surface water ground water etc okay this pollution affect the plants and animals and human beings you may see many street dogs cows and the fellows when they move on the street they eat these plastic substances okay which are very harmful for them waste and spoilage of landscape so how landscape is a spoiled landscape means the scenery which we are seeing okay the scenery the beauty of the land okay so this is spoilage refers to unpleasant looks presented by an area so if the landscape is a spoil it means that uh, the looks of the area are spoiled totally it adversely affect the health of people and their living standard okay living standard of the people is also affected and it disturbs the environment the waste accumulation damage the aesthetics aesthetic means the looks of that area when waste is dumped in an improper way the landscape of area gives unpleasant look when the waste is dumped in an improper way then landscape of that area gives an unpleasant it means that it cannot be looked at and the uncontrolled dumping of urban waste damage the beauty of countryside the uncontrolled waste from produced from urban areas moves to countryside also it means towards the villages which destroys their natural beauty often heaps of waste are dumped on the road street 
during routine cleaning of the sewage you might have seen this is very common phenomena when the municipal workers come and clean the uh, those sweepers clean the sewages then they collect the heaps the piles of the waste that is taken out of the sewer uh, near that itself on the road or uh, on the street itself okay and that creates a very bad condition and diseases like uh, many diseases can be created from this type of disposal of waste like diarrhea dysentery malaria plague these all are a result of such of dumping of waste okay areas of waste accumulation become the breeding place of insect rat we have seen the areas which are unclean become a home for the insect and uh, uh, disease causing germs right this looks horrible they move in a large number you can see groups of mosquitoes uh, moving over the waste heap okay and it looks very unpleasant and very uh, horrible okay next is waste pollution and health hazards so with increasing development and the volume of waste is also increasing per capita waste generation is growing sharply in the industrial countries waste is responsible for different kinds of pollution it releases harmful gases like methane and diox carbon dioxide etc so what are the health hazards from the waste many of the diseases are outcome of environmental pollution and pollution is created by waste generation 13 million deaths occur due to environmental causes every year and they can be prevented if the environmental risk are prevented many deaths every year it could save as many as annually 4 million lives of children alone okay 4 million children can be saved if the environmental pollution is prevented this is more true in developing countries where the waste disposal is very poor effects of gaseous waste on air pollution see many country around the world do not have any regulations on pollution air pollution okay uh, the industries do pollute the air without any control okay polluted air do lead to numerous diseases like asthma bronchitis emphysema lung cancer these kinds of heart diseases lung diseases and breathing that is respiration problem may also occur to people they take several years to cure or they become uncurable lead finally to the death of a person okay the pollutant weaken the lung and white infection a little exposure to the pollution to weak lungs can cause fatal damage okay uh, exposure to indoor air pollution from solid fuels also cause several diseases if we are using if some household use solid fuels like the coal or the wood for cooking food then it also uh, affects the air okay they can cause uh, several diseases like pneumonia among the children chronic respiratory diseases among the adults sulfur dioxide an important pollutant okay uh, uh, its concentration in the human body can choke the human respiratory system it can cause cough breathlessness and spasm of larynx okay it means voice box it can also be blocked and it also causes irritation in eyes it becomes an allergic agent okay and if sulfuric uh, acid that is mixed with the rain water it it's consumed it also makes uh, uh, it also damages the lungs then carbon monoxide it's another dangerous pollutant most of it is produced from smoking okay the smoking produces releases carbon monoxide which affects the oxygen carrying capacity of the blood okay it may lead to shortage of oxygen in the body because it sticks to the hemoglobin for a longer time it sticks with the hemoglobin for a longer time and prevents it to carry oxygen to the other parts of the body that can create headaches drowsiness dizziness nausea problems like uh, uh, brain uh, Uh, forgetting okay and uh, negative impacts on the vision also it can also cause death severely if uh, it's poisoned then it can cause death methane it's a potent greenhouse gas okay present in the atmosphere it's emitted during the production and transport of coal natural gas and oil so basically methane is produced from the fossil fuels okay its emission also result from livestock and other agricultural practices it can also be produced from waste okay the agricultural waste if it's not dumped properly or left for a longer time it can produce methane okay and uh, then its access can cause irritation and uh, hemorrhage also hydrogen sulfide is another toxic pollutant lead lead is often released from vehicular pollution and uh, it affects the plant 
and particulate pollutants like silica, asbestos, and these uh, lead affect the lungs. Okay, it means all the air pollutants uh, affect the lungs in a serious way, in a bad manner. Okay, and all these pollutants together affect the human health very badly. Okay, that's all for today. We'll continue the chapter in the next video. Thank you.